Hello peeps, the Honda CRF 250L. Love it or hate it, it's a bloody good all rounder. I bought mine with about a couple of thousand miles on the clock. It's now done about 20,000 miles. Um, I service it myself, I look after it myself. I've done a load of mods myself. It's my go-to bike. I've been riding dirt bikes now for about 50 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, it's a bloody long time. Um, I ride with a local club, Suffolk Trail Riders, really good club, and I ride with friends as well. Sometimes I'll lead a ride around Suffolk, Norfolk, Cambridgeshire, or Essex. I normally organise a trip into the Pyrenees every summer, but this year with COVID, no chance. This is what she looked like when I bought her. She had an Austin Vince exhaust, she had a sump guard, knobbies, and the graphics, not too bothered about those. I'm gonna start at the front of the bike and work my way back. The original springs were pretty soft. So I went for the Hyper Pro spring kit, put that in. It was okay, a lot stiffer. A lot of trouble with seals going. Probably four sets of seals I've had in this since I put the Hyper Pro in but the last time I reduced the oil level to 450 millilitres each side and it really helped also this is pretty look at this really pretty a friend gave me that good old salve um, I put those over at the same time which again is going to reduce the risk of shit going up there and damaging the seals in my opinion the race tech kit is much better than this one the hyper pro what else is going on at the front here our uh, gopro mount there midas tires c19 super light i prefer them plus i use um tubeless system just my preference that's all and don't forget to carry a valve extractor so what have we got on the front mud guard here? We've got a first aid kit. Really should put a defibrillator in there now. I'm over 60. Oh, and a tool kit. It's a Asibus tool kit. Um, I think Sav gave me this, my mate Paul. Yeah, sure he did. Got a lot of the usual shit in here. I've got a really small tin of refillable chain lube. Yeah. Um, a multi-tool, always handy, and that elusive 10 mil spanner which you can never find, a few allen keys, a few sockets, quick steel, you've heard of that haven't you guys, you just bust a bit off and you knead it up and it's handy for repairing a little crack in the crankcase or something like that, so is Gorilla Tape come to think of it, some cable ties, a screwdriver, one end, posi drive the other. Now this is what I call a dummy shaft. I only need to use it on the CRF because they're bloody awkward at putting the back wheel in. So what I do, um, it's a hell of a job getting the back wheel in because one of the spacers will fall out and then the other one will fall out and then you can't get the disc caliper in line. So what I do, I slide this into the wheel, spacer on either end. When I want to get it really close, I put the disc caliper on, line it all up, and then push the spindle through and if it's all lined up nicely the spindle will push the dummy shaft out it saves all that bloody swearing and cursing and unnecessary grief this one's made from a bit of cane with a bit of tape on either end to make it roughly the right diameter i have used a hose pipe in the past it's a hell of a lot easier i do carry a few more tools some in my backpack and some are on the bike I've fixed a few punches, given a few tubes away over the years, but you never seem to get them back. The hand guards were on the bike when I bought it. Uh, the plastics have long since gone, so I replaced it with knee pads. Cheapskate. And just look at this pretty little lever. I've got these spotlights on here, but do I really need them? Mm, sometimes you get caught out in the dark, so they come in handy. I put the first aid kit in my backpack, but I still can't see shit. Look at this lens, look. 
the mother's on the inside. You guessed it, it's been submerged a few times. I've just recently put a set of Renthal bars on after the other ones were so bent up after a period of time. But the inside diameter is smaller on these Renthals, so uh, I had to invest in some uh, expanding rule bolts, M6 ones. Works a treat. Cheapskate. I think I've mentioned this before, but don't tighten everything up too tight. Everything wants to have a little bit of movement in it. Your levers, so if you slide off, they'll move rather than snap. Um, put some Loctite or PTFE tape on the threads of the bolts, or even nail varnish. Also, quite essential that you have some free play in your clutch, otherwise, if that starts getting tight, you're going to burn your clutch out. So why do I carry so much shit? Well, if you don't carry it, there's bound to be someone who's broken down or something's broken or needs fixing. And if you can help them out, it stops the ride from being disrupted, doesn't it? So we'll call that it for part one. So is it utter bollocks or useful tips? You decide. <laughs>